I'm reminded of the scripture that says the iniquity of the fathers shall not destroy the children. Thank you, Jesus. That's about it. One word. I believe God will do what he said he's going to do. We coming out of this. Tell somebody, whatever you're going through, you coming out of this. Thing. Come on, tell them whatever you're going through. Uh, no, 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 no. You coming out of this thing. Not only are you coming out of this thing, but you're coming out of this thing with your hands lifted. You're coming out of this thing with a praise on your lips. You're coming out of this thing with a dance in your feet. I need somebody in the house that don't mind opening up your mouth and shout, I'm coming out of this thing. church come back to the other car preach a powerful message Amen. he's still on the throne I was listening to the response of the people I listened when the organ toned up I heard the other car when his voice changed and I told my wife I said we might have to find us another church. Hold on. This was work. It's work. He had a fresh haircut. <laughs> and he had a gray suit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. I mean, he preached. Yes, indeed. Sound like I heard Tommy in the background. Preach, Reverend! <laughs> I said, I don't hear her that loud when I'm in the sanctuary. <laughs> But this particular Sunday, you sound like I can hear her over the train ride. But listen, if we bless God for good people that He has blessed us with, so good to see most of our elders, Elder Cole, God bless you. Elder Q, God bless you. Elder Mac, Elder LaFleur, it, it's just so good. And I can 
hand the mic over to any one of them, and they will be able to grace the pulpit and preach a sound message. Everybody can't say that. And not only will they preach a sound message, but they wouldn't do nothing different than what I would do if I was here. I pray for God, bless them. Give her what she needs, God, in the name of Jesus. Listen, sometimes we have to forget about folks. You know, and just get what you need. You know, and sometimes, so many times we worry about folks. Who looking at Don't worry about who's looking at you. Get what you need from God. You. I was talking to some family members on yesterday and we ended up talking about family generational curses. And it really, it really bothered me. And I said, God, we have to break the generational curse. Amen. I hope that those that's watching on Facebook, through the website, those that's in the local church, you will hear the word of the Lord today. Because if we're going to break the generational curse, uh, then there must be a transformation of the mind. Uh, sometimes we think it's best to go back and address some things. But if you go back and you address of things and there's no transformation of the mind, then what good was it? Uh, this series we started on last, a couple of weeks ago, uh, our first message in this series was a new creation in Christ. Uh, the second message uh, is the transformation of the mind. Our first scripture for the series was, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new. Now today, uh, our scripture text is coming from Romans, the 12th chapter, verses 1 and 2. Uh, you can remain seated. And it says, I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, uh, which is your reasonable service. Verse number two says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye Transform, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Tell somebody a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Come on, don't don't play with them. Tell them, tell them, because somebody just think they can just do what they want to do, let anything attack their mind. But tell somebody a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Now, some of you might not have been privy because you uh, live in the uh, uh, finer places in in the world, but. Have you, I don't know, have you ever seen somebody uh, whom they say have lost their mind? And if you have seen that, then you'll understand uh, from which we are uh, talking from this morning, a mind 
is a terrible thing to waste. And so our, our, our subject for the day is the transformation of the mind. Uh, D.L. Moody said it this way. He said, uh, the scriptures were not given for our information, but for our transformation. Tell somebody, we need to transform into the mind of Christ. That's it. Y'all talk back to me this morning. Tell them we need to transform into the mind of Christ. So I want to deal with today, I want to give you 12 R's uh, to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And, and the first one I want to give you this morning is uh, re-surrender. Re-surrender. Uh, Renewal, renewal begins by offering up our whole body, soul, mind, and spirit to the Lord. Uh, Luke 10, 27 tells us, and he answered, you shall love the Lord your God uh, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. And with all your mind. Uh, we need to understand that it takes a conscious effort uh, to present oneself to the Lord by disciplining ourselves for godliness. Tell somebody we must discipline ourselves for godliness. Paul urges us to be uh, or to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. Every day uh, we are required to re-surrender, to re-submit, uh, and to realign our minds. Uh, uh, will and emotions with the purpose or the purposes of God. In other words, we need to set aside at least 15 minutes every morning to worship. I wonder how many set aside some time just to worship God every morning. Uh, we need to pray and read the Bible. And in doing so, we allow God to speak to us uh, about how he is worthy of our re-surrendering ourselves to him on a daily basis. Uh, the second thing we need to do uh, is rejoice. Tell somebody rejoice. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Uh, Philippians 4 and 4 said rejoice in the Lord always and again I will say rejoice. Uh, Nehemiah 8 and 10, do not be grieved for the joy of the Lord is your strength. And when we find our strength through the joy of the Lord, he renews our desire to please him in all respects. Uh, by delighting in the Lord, he gives us desires of our hearts. Uh, regardless of our circumstances, his joy is transcendent over all of our disappointments, all of our dis discouragements, and all of our difficulties. Uh, number three, remember. Tell somebody, remember. Uh, the good things you have and are becoming in Christ, those things we need to remember. People who have forgotten the benefits of being in Christ tend to slip back 
into mediocrity and self-destructive tendency. Uh, sometimes we as Christians need to stop along life road and look back. Although it might have been winding uh, and steep, uh, many of us, if we look back, we can see how God directed us uh, by his faithfulness. Yes. Uh, uh, F.E. Mark described what the Christian can see when they look back. He said the first thing the Christian can see when they look back is the deliverance the Lord has brought for us. Why? Because he's still on the throne. Uh, we can see the way uh, he has led us. Why? Because he's still on the throne. Uh, the blessing he has bestowed upon his people. Why? Because he's still on the throne. Uh, the victory he has won over our enemies. Why? Because he's still. Oh, somebody help me preach it here. The encouragement he, he has given to his people. Why? Because he's still on the throne. And because he's still on the throne when we face difficulties. Uh, uh, we sometimes forget God's past faithfulness. Uh, we see only the detours and the dangerous past. But I encourage you to look back and you will also see the joy of victory. Uh, you will also see the challenges of the climb. And the presence of your traveling companions who is the Lord? Why? Because he's still on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 Tell somebody he's still on the throne. It doesn't matter what kind of discouragement you go through. It don't matter what kind of disappointment you have. Tell somebody he's still on the throne. Let me hurry on. Let me hurry on. Uh, number four. Reckon. Reckon. Uh, reckon yourself as dead uh, to the old desires and be filled with the spirit, uh, the power, the perspective, and the guidance of God. Hallelujah. Uh, too many people allow their old desires to be fed instead of feeding from the spirit supernatural forces. Uh, uh, we accumulate all the benefits you have in Christ, forgiveness, uh, hope, uh, faith, and love. Uh, compare these benefits with the empty promises offered by our fleshly desires. Tell somebody we need a new makeover. You need a new makeover. Uh, uh, listen to this quote by Jim Elliott. He said, He is no fool to give what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. <laughs> Can I say that again? Somebody need to write that down. Yes. Uh, he is no fool to give what he cannot to gain what he cannot lose. Uh, let me hasten on number five. Number five, we need to reconsider. Reconsider. We need to reconsider all of the negative conditioning that has led you in the past and realize you need to re program your thinking to what is excellent. Uh, reprogram your thinking to what is good. Uh, what is honorable. Yes. What is right. Yes. Yes. What is true. Yes. 
and what is worthy of praise. Uh, without an effort to reconsider how our faulty assumptions affect our decision making, we will tend to operate under the same old destructive thought patterns. Tell somebody we need a transformation of the mind. Of the mind. Number six, number six, yeah. I'm moving past me. We need to replace. Replace. Yes, yes, tell somebody, replace. Replace. We need to replace what is fleshy yes. with what is God's All right. word. Yes. Paul wrote, put away anger. Put it away. Uh, put away jealousy. Put it away. Uh, put away wrath. Put away slander and clamor. Uh, and put on the heart of compassion. Put on the heart of kindness. Put on the heart of humility. Put on the heart of gentleness. Put on the heart of patience. Yes. Of bearing one another burden, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ has forgiven you. Yes. Yes. Uh, you can find that in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verses 22 through 32. Uh, we need to learn how to replace uh, what is prompted by fleshly tendencies with spirit control, spiritual principles. Uh, we need to let God's word dwell in us richly. Yes. Yes. Teaching and admonishing yes. one another with songs and hymns yes. and spiritual songs. Yes. Singing and making melodies in our hearts yes. uh, to the Lord. Yes. And whatever you do, yes. uh, do it all in the name and the authority of Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, we need to teach. Uh, we need to preach. And exhort people. Those who seemingly to be dead. Even if people are not attractive. They still need revival. Yes. That only God's word can bring. Yes. To their soul. Mm -hmm. Number seven. We need to realize. Tell somebody we need to realize. We need to realize God will for our life is what is best in all situations. Amen. Uh, many people think that they can discover the best pathways uh, to follow on their own. Uh, by praying about everything. We are apt to follow Paul's advice as in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving in our hearts. Yes. Let our request be known to God and the peace of God that passes all comprehension, peace of God that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Uh, people are not aware that God's will is better uh, tell somebody God's will is better. God's will is better. In all human ways, our human perspective, our human patterns, or response, a full realization of God's will is only made possible through prayerful petitions that are allowed through the Spirit of God to work through His power. Tell somebody we need to pray. We need to pray. Why? Because prayerful people are better able to perceive what God wants to bring in your life. Do you know what God wants to do in your life? Do you know where God wants to take you in your life? It's only through prayer we understand what the will of God is in our life. And when the enemy attacks us, yes. the first thing we throw away is what? Pray. Uh, uh, no matter how many times we heard the scripture that said, men are always to pray. Yes. And not faint. Prayerful people are 
better to perceive uh, what God wants in a life, in their relationships, activities, and ministries. Uh, number eight, we need to reconcile. Reconcile. Tell somebody we need to reconcile. We need to reconcile. We need to reconcile with those who are in conflict with us by addressing them as brothers or sisters. Paul writes, I beseech you, therefore, brothers. Even though Paul was a great apostle, uh, he humbly addressed uh, uh, meanwhile, he, while he unhumbly addresses uh, those that he's speaking to, he's teaching us through the word that sometimes uh, we are in conflict with one another. But if we humble ourselves, yes, Lord. you know that's hard to do. Humble. Sometimes the only takes is for us to humble ourselves. Yes, yes. That's how you can tell the body of Christ is immature. Because we got all of this chaos going on in the body of Christ, and nobody, nobody. won't humble themselves yes. and say, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. It don't matter who's right or wrong. But if we're going to have a transformation of the mind, yes. somebody got to be able to humble themselves. Yes. 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 And Reconcile yes. uh, with those that are uh, lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, those that have separated themselves from the body of Christ because of misunderstanding. Yeah, Tell yeah. them we need to re reconcile. Preach over here. Hallelujah. Yes. Uh, I'm not talking about just, yeah, just yeah. getting a uh, 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 just temporary to fix them. I'm talking about a transformation. Transformation. Yes, yes, Amen. Uh, I'm talking about a, a new makeover yes, yes, where, yes, where it's not my new. Yes, 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 uh, but, but God's will. Uh, before I make a decision, uh, uh, before I open up my mouth and yes. hurt somebody, before I lie, yeah, come on uh, man. Uh, I, I allow the Spirit of God to yes, come into my heart yes, sir. and change me yes. by the renewing of my mind. And that light overseer. Hallelujah. And because uh, uh because I allow him yes. uh, to make a transformation in my mind, mm -hmm. I'm able to reconcile with my brother and sister. That's right. Isn't it funny Hallelujah. how we supposed to have the knowledge and the understanding of God, but we the most hateful people in the world? Jesus, Jesus. Help Lord. Lord forgive me. Oh, but it seems like church folks are some of the most mindless people in the world. Jesus. We, did I say the idea? Yes, yes. But that's why we need a transformation yeah. of the mind. Because the word says, if any man, if any man, be in Christ. Yes, sir. He is. He is. He is. He is. A new creature. New creature. Old thing. Old thing. Old behavior. Yeah. Transformation 
of our minds that are constantly run away from those that are trying to bless us. Until we allow God to make a transformation of our mind, we will constantly allow the enemy to speak to us. But I want you to know today the devil don't have no place. No, no. None. None. Tell somebody, I'm going to reconcile. I'm going to reconcile. With my brother and my sister. Yeah. Yes. Number nine, we almost done. Number nine. Word. Uh, I like this one. Uh, uh, Y'all stand at the door. I don't want nobody to run out of here. But number nine is resist. Oh, resist. resist. Come on, James. Yes, sir. Resist. Talk about that. Number nine resist. is to resist. Resist the conformity of the world. Yes. Knowing that the greatest enemy uh, uh, is our mind unrestrained. Uh, resist the conformity to this world. Knowing that our mind is the greatest enemy under or without restraint. Uh, uh, the patterns of this world uh, is filled with lust of the flesh. Lust of the eyes, the boastful pride of life. If people provoke us, we are not to lose our food. If you provoke, you are not to lose your food. I, 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 I'm learning now that God has changed me. Elder Cole, I'm not quick to the draw like I used to be. All right, uh, I, I can remain cool. All yes. right, yes. amen. Under pressure. Yeah, yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I can remain cool uh -huh. when I know they're trying to humiliate me. My goodness. I can remain cool. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, when I know they <laughs> been lying on me. That's good, Pastor. I, I can remain cool. 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 Yes, sir. When I know they trying to destroy me. Yeah. I can remain cool under extreme circumstances. Yes. 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 Uh, uh, but when I first got married, I was a pistol. But now here I am 30 years later. Cool, calm, and collective. All right. She got to work hard to make me mad now. Right. Yeah. Why? Because I understand the place I get in when anger takes over. Yeah. Lord, yes. Can I help somebody? Yes, sir. See, when, when anger takes over, I cease to have uh, 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 the presence of God in my life. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so because the presence of God is not with me while I'm angry, uh, I, I, I see some things that I can't get back. I do some things that I can't undo. And so many times we, uh, you have people that do devilish things and then they say, sorry. Uh, people do devilish things and they say, forgive me, that's all right. Uh, I can forgive you, but it don't change the pain. It don't change the, the residue uh, that was sold. Uh, that's why I got to resist uh, the enemy. I can't allow people to provoke me and make me lose my cool. Uh, we are not to be boastful. That's right. We are not to be argumentative. That's good, Pastor. I have to say that one score. Uh, we are not to be rude. That's right. Say that again. Uh, we are not to be rude when we are criticized. 
of yourself more highly than you are. Say it, sir. To think so as to have sound judgment. Sound judgment. As God has allotted to each of us a measure of faith. God infuses new energy, vitality, and ideals into our mind when we are renewed <coughs> by his word. Yes. Just like we need to be renewed by the word of God. By the word of God. Uh, his Amen. spirit and the fellowship of other believers uh, helps us to be recharged. Uh, you know, that it, it, it should be a joy Amen. when we come into the house of the Lord yeah. and we gather ourselves together and we lift up our hands and we begin to sing songs of Zion. I don't know about you, but every time I come into the house of the Lord, I'm recharged. Yes. Uh, when I see one believer rejoice because God done something great yes. in their life, I'm recharged. Uh, uh, well, I know that uh, they got a right to complain, but they're not complaining because God still been good to them. Yes. Uh, uh, in spite of what they're going through, you, uh, I'm recharged. Child. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Uh, when I see the church still flowing yes, in the midst of a pandemic, I'm recharged because God is faithful. Yes, he, is. Yes, he, is. Uh, he said that upon this rock, yes. I'll build my church and the gates of hell. Not even a pandemic can stand against it. All right. Uh, number 12, and I'm talking about three, uh, we need to rethink. Rethink. Rethink the best way that you match your spiritual gifts with others. Uh, who can best complement your own? Uh, sometimes we need to experience uh, before we can find the best fit with our spiritual gifts in fellowship, relationship, and ministry where God can maximize our usefulness. Sometimes we just need to rethink that. Uh, I see the sign, I don't see it much now, but he used to say, what will Jesus do? Yeah. Well, what would he do? <laughs> uh, 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 the word tells us that we must be ye transformed. Uh, by the renewing of our mind. Uh, which tells me that my mind plays a particular role in my salvation. Yes. It means that without my mind, I can't serve the Lord. Right. Uh, it is with my mind God is able to speak to me and to reveal to me what his perfect will is for my life. Yeah. And sometimes I need to rethink the direction that I'm going in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we're going to have a new makeover in Christ, yes. uh, we got to realize that there are something that is wrong with me. Yeah. Uh, that's why I, I, I was led to sing that song today, No Weapon Formed Against Me. Yeah. Yeah. No one shall prosper. Uh, because as I was thinking about uh, some of the generational curses uh, uh, that I began to hear yesterday, uh, I began to get discouraged. And I said, God, is this going to happen to my grandchildren? I said, God, is this going to happen to my children? What about the children in the programs? Yeah. Yes. I said, God, I need to rethink is, is my life a failure? Yeah. Yeah. Did you bring me this far to leave? No. 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 And God had to remind me that no weapon formed against you yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. shall prosper. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment. Yes, he said, I will condemn you. Yes. He said, all you have to do, bear this walk before me, yes, sir. That's it. be upright. That's it. 
He said, live holy. Be godly. Love your neighbor. And you do yourself. Speak the word. To the people of God. In season. That will help them turn. From their wicked way. In a time like this, when you feel that you at your lowest, he said, if you go, I'll speak for you. Open up your mouth and speak the word. Tell my people, come out from among them. He is separated. And God is trying to bring us out. He's trying to show us a better way. But we just need to surrender. Oh, won't you to sing the song? I surrender all. All to thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender all. Come out with your hands up. For those that's in the local church, for those that's watching by the media, all you got to do is come out with your hands lifted. Come out and just say, God, make me over again. God, I don't like the way that I've been living, but God, I now surrender myself to you. God, I made some bad choices. I made some bad decisions. But you still took care of me. If you can change your mind, your heart will change. Yeah. Yeah. If you can change your mind, your life will change. Yeah. I guarantee you, 
if you just give God a chance. Be ye transformed, be ye changed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. My blessed this Savior I surrender all. Come on, stand to your feet if you can all over the building. Help me sing that. I surrender all. It's decision making time. www.romichurch.life through Give the Fine or PayPal. Give through our cash app, dollar sign Romy Church. Or you can call our local office and give by credit card or debit card. You can be about giving. Hey, God, uh, test us by our giving. If he know that you separated from your money, he know he can trust you. Yeah, yeah. If he know that you don't mind giving in the time of trouble, he know that he can trust you. And so I encourage those of you that's out there watching my social media, listen, sow a seed into this ministry. If you're not tithing nowhere, listen, you need to start tithing. God blesses when we tithe. He said, if I gave you $100, give me $10. Listen, he's not asking for much. Tell somebody, we need to give. For those of you that are ready to give, you can come from wherever you are and give your seed offering.
Thank you for all the provisions that enable us to give back to you. Bless these to us, God. Bless those when they go to here. God, bless these times and offerings as we continue to build your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Come on, let's just finish up the thing. Amen. service we have, we offer to you, God. We are here for you. Come and do what you do, oh God, because we need a move, and we expect miracles, oh God. So we thank you, God, for the transformation of mind, God, the transformation of will and heart, God, that we may serve you wholeheartedly. God, we thank you that you look over this house, for this house is a house of prayer. And God, we thank you for it, but as we leave this place, but never from your presence till we meet again. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen. Let every heart say amen again. Let every heart say amen. 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 Amen.